the go-to treatment for type 2 diabetes doesn't have to be a lifetime supply of medications. There's a new treatment method that has already proven to reverse type 2 diabetes in 70% of participants. And while this treatment protocol may not be available for another five years, in this video, I'm gonna show you how it's different than 99% of current treatment methods, why it works, and how you can actually start to use it right now. Type 2 diabetes is an epidemic in the United States. There's 1.5 million new cases diagnosed every year. There's 34 million people who currently have it, and it costs the U.S. taxpaying economy $327 billion per year. Do you guys take checks? To understand why this new treatment method is so powerful, we first have to recognize that Type 2 diabetes is caused by the hormone insulin being out of balance in your body. When your body becomes overstimulated by constant and consistently high levels of insulin, then insulin no longer pushes glucose out of your blood and into your cells when your blood sugar rises. What it looks like for you is this. You go to the doctor because you've been gaining weight and you wanna know, why is my metabolism broken? Your blood work results come back and the doctor tells you you're pre-diabetic or you even have type two diabetes, which means your insulin is no longer doing what it's supposed to do. Your blood sugar is too high and as a result, you're gaining weight. So the doctor tells you, you need to lose weight. Well, thanks there, Captain Obvious. That's why I came to you in the first place. The doctor tells you, you need to start eating smaller portions, count your calories, get more exercise. You need to go on a diet and he prescribes you medication to help with your blood sugar and your insulin. But here's the problem. National guidelines state that self-management, education, and support are required and crucial in the first 12 months of being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Yet, only 7% of people who dish out thousands of dollars every year for health insurance actually receive this education or support. Being told to lose weight count your calories, reduce your portions, that ain't education or support. Losing weight isn't the underlying problem. Weight gain is actually a result of the underlying problem, which is your blood sugar and your insulin. So trying to control your calories doesn't fix anything. A hundred calories of banana bread affect your blood sugar and insulin way more than a hundred calories of steak. So you think you need to focus on weight loss and calories and portions, and then you get placed on a medication. But those medications, just like weight loss, only focus on treating the symptoms. Some medications even make the underlying problem worse over time. This is why a lot of doctors still call type two diabetes a chronic condition. Because if you treat it with medications, it gets chronically worse. You'll require higher doses or more medications to produce the same insulin response because the underlying issue is still present and the medications are feeding that problem. But here's the good news. Type two diabetes doesn't have to be a chronic condition. There is hope for reversing it. And Dr. Brian Cox of the University of Virginia has already run a pilot study where more than two thirds of the participants reversed their type two diabetes. In fact, Dr. Cox was diagnosed with type two diabetes in 2010. He implemented this treatment on himself and he's been symptom free for 13 years. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to start using this yourself. But first, let's quickly look at why this treatment works and why it may just put medications out of business one day. Remember those national requirements of education and support that only 7% of people receive? Well, this treatment is exactly that. It shows people how to manage their diagnosis themselves rather than have to rely on a doctor to prescribe them medications or nutrition advice. It also doesn't focus on the symptom of weight loss by trying to control calories or portion sizes. Instead, it focuses on the effects that foods and activities 
have on your blood sugar and insulin. And weight loss happens as a byproduct of fixing the root cause, which means this treatment actually fixes the underlying problem, insulin and blood sugar, rather than treating the symptoms with more insulin and medications. So how do you do this? I mentioned earlier that this treatment method is not yet available because after a pilot study, the next phase is going to take five years. But I read the initial study and I read the research proposal for you. And here's the step-by-step -step method that you can use right now. Now, in case you weren't already aware, I'm not a doctor. I don't play one on YouTube. I don't even look like one. This information is meant to help you, not diagnose you. So you may still want to run this by your doctor. So here it is. The way this treatment is set up, it only has to take six weeks. For the first seven days, you're going to learn through education and self-monitoring which foods cause your blood sugar to spike. The education is not too difficult. Different foods cause different blood sugar and insulin responses. Carbohydrates and particularly processed carbohydrates like breads, pastas, chips, cookies, and crackers those are your biggest offenders, but you might also find some seemingly random foods that affect you individually. You'll take note of these by using a continuous blood sugar monitor, such as the Freestyle Libra, and you'll make note of all of these foods in a journal. Now for the next 14 days, you're gonna focus on substituting, reducing, or eliminating the foods that cause your blood sugar to spike. For example, you maybe substitute your breakfast oatmeal with unsweetened Greek yogurt and fresh fruit. Or maybe you eliminate white rice from your dinner. And then you take note of the differences in your blood sugar levels. For the next 14 days, you'll learn how activity might lower your blood sugar levels more quickly when they're high. For example, you eat that oatmeal for breakfast. That spikes your blood sugar, but if you go for a five minute walk with the dog, instead of sitting down at your computer, your blood sugar might come back down twice as fast. You can use an activity monitor like a Fitbit or an Apple Watch to track the data and give you an idea of what activities are most effective for you. And the final phase, it's really just continual learning and monitoring until what works for you becomes part of your normal lifestyle. You keep a log of the foods and activities that impact you in a positive or negative manner. And you repeat it until it becomes a habit. If you're interested in changing your lifestyle, potentially reversing your type two diabetes or pre-diabetes, and potentially avoiding a lifetime of medications, you might wanna try these steps. And I wanna point out again that the way this treatment is set up, it only has to take six weeks. Now, why would something that only takes six weeks to do requires zero medications and doesn't cost you a thing, why is this not being pushed really hard to be made available for everyone right now? Ooh. I bet it has something to do with money. Compare this new treatment to how quickly new diabetes drugs like Ozempic get pushed. This treatment has received three and a half million dollars of funding, but it's gonna take five years until it's completed. Just one study for the drug Ozempic receives three times the amount of funding from Big Pharma, and the results will be pushed out in a couple of months because Big Pharma makes a lot of money from people being chronically ill. Not a lot of people make any money when you fix your problems yourself or when you fix your problems permanently. And if you don't believe me on this, you should check out what the American Diabetes Association has been pushing or learn more about the drug Ozempic by clicking either of these videos next.